what we're going to do here is um, sol solve equations, solving for x here, um, when we change the base of the powers. So while we're doing this, this is the base, this is the exponent, and I'll refer to the whole thing as the power. That way it's, it's a little bit easier. And sometimes you'll need logarithms, and sometimes you won't. Okay, so let me show you how I, how I look at this one. We have to remember index rules. And so I'm going to solve for x here. And I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is power to a power gets multiplied. So this guy right here is going to be 8 to the power of 4x is the same as 64 to the power of x minus 2. Do not now, that. here, it looks like I'm going to use logarithms because, I'm, because the x is in the exponent. But, if you can notice, hey, wait a minute, 64 is a power of 8. You can rewrite this as a power of this, and suddenly it becomes a little bit easier. So, for example, I'm going to write this 64 as 8 squared. I just rewrote that. So instead of 64, it's 8 squared, because those are the same. And this exponent is still hanging on the outside. Now, I do my power to a power rule, and a power to a power rule gets multiplied, so this is, this is 2 times x minus 2. 2 times x minus 2 makes it uh, 2x minus 4. That's what happens when I multiply that 2 through. Okay, so the beauty of this, okay, now here, now that I've got two powers with the same base that are equal to each other, that must mean that their exponents are equal to each other. So I set these exponents equal to each other. 4x is the same as 2x minus 4. And I don't need logarithms to solve for x, because I just have a linear equation. Subtract the 2x uh, over there. 4x minus 2x is 2x equals negative 4. And x is going to equal negative 4 divided by 2, which gives me negative 2. Okay? So no logarithms needed there. Okay, so let's look at another example, similar to this, where we may or may not use logarithms. Okay, in this example, I've got uh, the division of these two powers is going to give me 50. And I look at the two bases, 9 and 7. And I say, okay, well, um, they're both powers of 3. So I'm going to rewrite this 9 as 3 squared to the power of 2x plus 1. And 27 is a power of 3 as well. It's uh, well, 3 cubed. 3 cubed to the power of x equals 50. Don't forget that. Now, what I do here is I, the, the power rules of power to a power, those get multiplied. I don't, I don't do anything with this 3, because this 3 is a base. It's not a coefficient. I can't do anything with that just yet. So power to a power gets multiplied. And when I multiply it, it's going to multiply to everything in there. So that top one is uh, 3, 2 times 2x is 4x, plus 2 times 1 is 2. And on the bottom part of the fraction, 3 times x is 3 to the po power of 3x. Did I get that right? Yes. Equals 50. Okay. Now, what do I do with division of powers that have the same base? Division of powers that have the same base, I subtract their exponents. So it's 4x plus 2, 4x plus 2, minus 3x. And that's going to equal... 50. Here, now I clean this up, collect like terms. Uh, 4x minus 3x is just going to give me 1x, or just x. And that's 3. Um, x plus 2 equals 50. Now here I am going to use logarithms because uh, 50 is not a power of 3. I am going to use logarithms here. So to do that, I'm going to Take the log of both sides. Log 3 to the power of x plus 2 equals log 
50. Now I rewrite this log expression here. Remember, if this is an exponent, it gets multiplied to the log. This is, and I'll put it in brackets, so it's x plus 2 log 3 equals the log of 50. And now, to get x plus 2 by itself, I'm going to divide by log 3. So x plus 2 equals log 50 divided by log 3. And I'll work that out on the calculator in a bit, but I know that the value of x is going to equal log of 50 divided by log of 3. Opposite of plus 2 is minus 2. And I'll work that out on the calculator. And I get 1.56 something, and I'll just say 1.56 to two decimal places. Okay, so that one I did use logarithms because I'm solving for the exponent, and I can't write 50 as a power of 3. So that's what logarithms are for. Okay, one more example, and I think we'll be okay. Okay, uh, this last one's different in the fact that this has a, a we're multiplying this by something. Now this is from the 2013 algebra exam, NCEA level 2. I want to get rid of that. I don't want that. So since it's times 3 here, uh, I'm going to divide it by 3 to get rid of it. So I'm going to say 2x plus 1 over 8x equals 96 divided by 3 gives me 32. Okay. So now I go, okay, look for... 8 is a power of 2, isn't it? So I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 cubed. 2 to the power of x plus 1 on the top. And on the bottom, 8 is going to be 2 cubed to the power of x equals 32. Okay, can't do anything here. So that's just 2 to the power of x plus 1. On the bottom, power to a power gets multiplied. That's 2 to the power of 3x. And that gives me 32. And like the previous problem, uh, uh, di dividing powers, I subtract the exponents. Okay, so I subtract the exponents. I get x plus 1 minus 3x. Um, collect these like terms. x minus 3x is minus 2x. So this is 1 minus 2x. And I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Not really cheat. But do you know that 32 is a power of 2? Do you know that? Do you know that it's just 2 to the power of 5? You may not know that. And if you don't, then you'll have to use logarithms and go around the, the long way. But, you know, it's good to know your power of 2s. And 32 is one of them. So I've got the same base. So I set the exponents equal to each other. 1 minus 2x equals 5. All right. I could, I could handle that. Subtract 1 to the other side. And that means that negative 2x equals 4. Divide by the coefficient. Divide 4 by negative 2, and I get negative 2. Again, I think. I've already got that one. Okay. So I did manage to do that one without logarithms as well. Okay. That's it for now. Good luck.